so glad you guys came. Come on in. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Joyce Lorick, and I'm going to show you how to enjoy holiday treats any time of the year. Hi, I'm so glad you could join me again this year. As you can see, it's the holidays, and we've got a lot of stuff we need to take care of for our families to keep them healthy. Let's start with juice. Now, this is the Daniel plan again, of course, and the Daniel plan is awesome, and it is how we need to eat. So how do we do 80 to 90% vegetables in our diet, especially when some of the best, best vegetables that we can use are kale? You know, that stuff gets a little tough to chew when you're doing 10, 11 plates a day. But it's how we get ourselves healed. Now, we're going to also talk about the difference between regular vegetables and organic. According to Dr. Oz, Dr. Amen, and Dr. Hyman, the difference in the organic vegetables is the phytonutrients. Now, what are phytonutrients? Phytonutrients are what God put into the vegetables to cause them to be able to withstand the elements, bugs, grow, in spite of whatever else is going on by nature. So, if we spray our plants for bugs, if we fertilize to make them grow, they don't have to have, they don't have to produce as many phytonutrients. Phytonutrients actually go in and heal the plant if it is attacked. When we consume these vegetables, those same phytonutrients come into our body, talk to our DNA, our brain communicates with the DNA and it sends it to any place in our body that needs to heal. That's huge. That's a huge thing. You can heal yourself. Don't I look a little different than I did in the last video? Well, I took the Daniel plan to a higher level. I started juicing. I use mostly green juice, but you use apples and lettuce, romaine is high in nutrients, cucumbers. You can add carrots. You can add anything virtually that you want. But again, you want it to be mostly leafy green vegetables. Carrot juice is like a treat. Um, there are some different blenders, or uh, not blenders, but um, uh, juicers, pressed juices are better because you'll get more out of each bit of vegetables, and it'll save you money in the long run. So get yourself a good juicer. You add a little lemon to your juice because this helps to detoxify you. So good apples, if you go organic, you're going to have an abundance of phytonutrients, which is what it's all about. So you get those into your body, they feed you nutritionally, they heal your body, and on top of that, um, then it's not such a struggle to try not to eat what you shouldn't eat. All of a sudden your body is being fed and the brain is satisfied, and when you pass by a plate of donuts or whatever else, you're not tempted because your body is not screaming, feed me, feed me because it's already gotten all the nutrition that it needs. Now, the other 5%, you need like 5, 10% of, of vegetables, of fruits, to go with your vegetables. So you add the apples, you can add bananas, and then you also add some, um, uh, to your diet, you want to add uh, a nice smoothie. And uh, I'll show you a really good smoothie that I've come up with, tastes delicious, and it also, um, is, will help you lose weight, which is not our ultimate goal. Our ultimate goal is to get healthy. But the side effect of that is that you'll have the body and the brain that God intended you to have. So this is an array of different things. And here's what the juice comes out looking like. You have to shake it up a little bit. It's best to make it every day so that you have it fresh. does taste good, but you remember, this is medicinal. You just drink it. After three days, you'll crave it. I promise you. Mm. Happy juicing. Now, we're going to take a date, a medjool again, and we're just going to break it in half. Take the pit out. Then, cut those each half 
in half again so that you have a quarter of the dates. Then you take a raw pecan and you press it into that quarter of a date. Nice little compact thing. And then you turn it upside down so that the pecan is down. And you do that with all four halves. So when you're eating these, you're only eating a fourth of a date. A fourth and one raw organic pecan. And a quarter of a teaspoon of cacao and a few drops of agave. And you feel like you've had a gourmet chocolate. So God's provided for us to have sweets, to have delicious, healthy sweets, as well as other nutritious food. It's just, we have been so bombarded with commercialized foods that we've gotten away from this and we don't know how to feed our bodies. These are all nutritious. Let's try one. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. -mm. Hi, I'm Joyce Lorick, and I am thrilled that you could join me here today. You know, when I watched these videos just now with you, they brought tears to my eyes. You see, I was locked in an unhealthy situation and lifestyle that denied me the joy that God had intended for my life. And He has the same intentions for joy in your life. So no matter where you are right now, in your health program, it's not too late. There is hope. This makes me think of Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you the hope and a future. That's pretty good stuff. You know, I've been on a transformational journey for the last past year and a half, and the results are what you see in me now. If you follow me, I'm going to reveal to you everything I've done to accomplish going from a size 20 to a size 2. I went from 228 pounds to 125 in a year and a half. My cholesterol and blood pressures were high. Now all my numbers are good. My transformation is nothing short of a miracle. So I saw a cardiologist for good measure. She said, Joyce, between looking at your numbers on the blood work you had done and looking at you, I cannot believe that you're 68. I shared my story with her. Now her whole office staff is working on this program. So I wrote it down with, to share with others. Now, I want to show you the book that I wrote it down with, and here it is. And you can buy this on Amazon.com. But I'm here to tell you that you don't have to purchase this book. This is my cookbook with a lot of good tips. You can download it from my website, www.cookingforthedanielplan.com. <laughs> this makes me think of Psalms 102.18. Write these things down for the future so that people who are not yet born will praise the Lord. <laughs> Let's talk about my transformation story now that you know that you can do all of this for free. And I'm available. Contact me. I'll help you every step of the way. About 12 years ago, we started a small Bible study group. And I would cook great meals for a Sunday morning brunch meeting. But I simply would not eat the food at all because I was struggling to keep my weight down. I was 165 pounds then. One morning, as I was setting out the food in preparation for the meeting, God spoke to me. He said loud and clear, food is not your enemy. Well, I began to eat the food. So in a nutshell, over the next 10 years, maybe 12, after embracing several healthy faith-based diets, followed perfectly with no weight loss, many prayers, and an 80-pound weight gain later, here came our pastor with another healthy eating plan. This makes me think of 2 Corinthians 4.17. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Yeah, I was so stuck on the fact that I couldn't do it, that I didn't want to do it. 
Well, our pastor started talking about the plan months prior to the January 15th start date. I started focusing my prayers on what I saw as my dilemma, this healthy eating plan. Put simply, I didn't see how I could do it. My moment-to-moment -moment prayers on this continued right up to the moment I entered the door of the worship center, the morning of the health seminar that Saturday. My whining prayers were that I didn't know if I could do it, but would embrace whatever God's will was for me. God spoke to me again, letting me know that this health plan was His will for me. <laughs> All my thoughts were, okay, God, I'll embrace this plan to the letter, but don't expect me to lose weight when other people do, because I've been stuck in this overweight for almost 20 years. God said loud and clear again, well, Joyce, you'll lose what I want you to lose, not a pound more, not a pound less. <laughs> I've learned now not to argue with God. All I could think of at that point was, so you mean that I'm not responsible for all the results as long as I do what you say? God said, Joyce, you can't even cause one hair on your head to grow without me. Trust in my plan. Boy, I felt tremendously free, unburdened. Made me think of John 8, 36. The sun has set me free. I am free indeed. So I went into this healthy eating program knowing that it's not about me, but rather about God's plan and that I was off the hook for the results. Moreover, I knew it was not about losing weight, but trusting God and being willing to follow His plan for my life. My anxiety was gone, and I knew that this plan was way bigger than me. I also knew that God had a purpose for me in this. I thanked God and told Him I trusted Him and his will for me was my total desire, no matter what I weigh. Makes me think of 2 Timothy 1, 7. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Well, God let me know he was with me. The first week of the plan, I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> I hadn't lost five pounds in 15 years, even on 500 calorie diets. By the second week of the plan, I'd lost 20 pounds. To date, and what you see now, I've lost over 100 pounds. Moreover, every day, God has inspired me with four or five healthy eating plan recipes. We have never eaten such healthy and delicious food before. <laughs> so, God told me to share the gift of these recipes and my transformation. The result? is my attempt at bringing this message to you. If you follow my lead, you can regain your health and lose some weight. And I've written it all down for you to make it easy. <laughs> I'm thinking of Psalms 102.18. Write these things down for the future so that people who are not yet born will praise the Lord. You can do this healthy eating plan and enjoy some of the most delicious food that you've ever experienced. God has provided a life of abundance and blessings for us to empower us for maximum health to prepare us for life. You know, when you think about this, when we surrender to God for His purpose for our lives, it only seems obvious that He would also provide us with the best possible tools to accomplish His will for us. God tells us more than 365 times in the Bible to fear not. So fear must come from someplace other than God. May God be with you, my friends and bless you in everything that you do. If you are interested, tune back in to all of our episodes. I promise you that I will do everything I can to get all this information to you as quickly as possible. God has already begun a miracle in you. It's not an accident that you tuned in today. May God bless you with a burning desire to change your life just like I did. I'll see you soon, my dear friends. Joyce Lorick can remember the day her life changed. She weighed 228 pounds. She heard God speak to her. Food is not your enemy, he said. Soon after, Joyce found the Daniel plan. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. 2 Corinthians 4.17
Now, Joyce has put her own spin on healthy cooking and wholesome, nutritious ingredients and is bringing it to your table. Must-have recipes like healthy lasagna and hot crab and asparagus, mac and cheese, strawberry cacao, no cheese cheesecake, are a blessing in disguise for anyone who wants to eat healthier while enjoying all of the luscious foodstuffs God has provided us. Cooking for the Daniel Plan by Joyce Lorick.